the problems in our planet today are not because of our intelligence. They are because of our limited intelligence. It was, I remember sometime we do 10 episodes for my show and in this last season, I was hitting a block. Like, I was like, oh, I'm not doing it right. right. So then I went in the corner and then I was looking at the wall and I was like, come on devil, come on devil, right? come to me. Come to me, because I had to do something like crazy, right? I had nightmares for a month. So it does come it or after, yeah, like nightmares every day. I just felt felt that energy, you know, and I had to pray and do all this stuff to like get rid of it. And you call your mom up and you're like, you're back to life. And that stuff is real. That stuff really is real. People have completely let the word of God go. I want to wake you up today. And I want to remind you the basic of everything we know about God. It is the word of God because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, man. signs and symbols. And I said, you know what? We need to stop treating our relationship with Jesus like the little buddy that you talk to before you go to bed at night and not be more vocal about all the things that God means to us and all of the things that God has brought us through. You may have a vision of what it is that you want to achieve. And then you focus on that vision. And the most powerful way to manifest, as you probably know. Everyone wants to manifest things fast. We are in a society where everything can happen instantly. We are living in a move of prophetic wind we are moving in a season where everyone want to hear what God say about me anyone that came to Jesus Jesus did not need you to repent if you came to him he asked you what do you want you say I want this he says then it's yours are you getting what I'm saying why because God had given everybody a blank check as a child of God I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior several years ago. And I had a great deal of difficulty with Freemasonry's definition of God. Because all through the rituals, as well as this explanation, they call God deity, or grand architect of the universe, or great architect of the universe. They don't give him any specific name we as Christians know. You see, in Freemasonry, but they do not name what those deities are, so they call him deity. In conclusion, I find that the teachings of Freemasonry lead to a universal religion. The religion that Freemasonry teaches accepts saviors of all religions in the world. Whatever I dream is always real. I believe my dreams. You believe your dreams and ignore the word of God. How many times the devil has sneaked in your dreams and confused your life and you ignore the word of God? Tell your neighbor, look someone in the face, come back to the word. Tell your neighbor, come back to the word. Go and get your Bible, come back to the Word.